Hi all and welcome back to our channel where we explore the latest tools and technologies to enhance productivity in the workspace of ServiceNow environment. Today we have an exciting topic to discuss which is ServiceNow Workspace Builder. My name is Amit Gujarati and in this video we will be diving into the world of ServiceNow Workspace Builder. If you are looking to revolutionize the way your organization works, this is a tool for you so let's jump right into it. ServiceNow Workspace Builder is a powerful platform that empowers you to create custom digital workspace tailored to your organization's unique needs. Whether you are in IT, HR or any other department, this tool enables you to build intuitive and user-friendly workspace without the need of coding for any coding skill. Let me show you how easily it is to create workspace using ServiceNow Workspace Builder. So as you can see on my screen, this is the ServiceNow instance, which is currently on the Uta version. So what I will do, I will just jump into App Engine Studio. And here I have already created one application and I have explained it a lot of time in my previous videos. It's a parking application and I want to create some workspace around the same. So we'll see how we can create workspace for that particular application. So this was the way Pune meetup parking application which I created to demonstrate something on the meetup side. If I open this application out, you can simply create a workspace. You have to just go to the experience and just click on the add button. And here you get tons of options. You can create workspace, standard catalog items, record produce a portal, mobile experience, so on. But for today's tutorial, we'll be focusing on workspace. So I just select workspace. It will show you that this kind of workspace you can create, okay? Uh, a workspace helps users manage and fulfill requests sent to them. Perfect, right? So just begin. And we'll wait. Because it takes some time to load, okay? So it's loading on the screen. And now we will give some name to this experience or workspace. So we'll give um parking experience and then it asks for description okay so this is a test workspace and it generates url if you want to customize it out you can customize it out but i will keep it as is and also it takes the rows okay from the application you have created i'll just click on continue and what it does it just have a random guess okay what will the primary table based on your scoped application and fortunately um i'm looking for this particular table only which is meter participants okay and the secondary table is the other table so basically the workspace will be showing the primary data of the primary table and there will list icon okay over there where you can you can see some information of the secondary tables also okay just like a related list in the native kind of thing so we'll keep this as is okay because this really suits my need and i will and this I, i'm not sure how exactly they are guessing it out but every time i'm working on this this guess is pretty prominent okay so i will just go and continue and it just uh, prompt us out that okay you just wait sit relax you don't have to worry about anything let us drive through it okay and we will create some experience okay for you so i will jo just go to done okay and now if we see we have this parking experience created right if you preview it out it has already it will already define certain things out certain attributes certain it will create a workspace for you okay and then you can play around it so as you can see this is really nice workspace which got created uh, with the name of parking experience you can see there are my task unassigned task little task these are the reports okay over there happening now as this is a real-time data then also you can see what all things are there in the work list okay so it has created some uh, blueprint for your workspace you are you must be thinking where exactly the secondary table lies right so if you go here you have the list 
and over list you can see the secondary table the second table secondary table was parking so you can see the information for parking also the primary table will, will be over here meter participant and secondary will be parking okay so that's how the second table works analytics centers will give provide you the analytics for this particular workspace okay detail analytics so currently everything will be empty because we just created it out right so i will just go to the home page and now you can customize this workspace the way you want how you can simply go to the edit okay and now you can edit whatever you want so for an instance if you want to change this name out okay so what you can do you can simply do configure okay and you can wait <laughs> it takes some time okay so it's like happening now okay so we can get happening now at technomong need some advertisement for myself right and then you can have level one level two and level three these are like some customization okay this is text wrap if we have longer text then it will wrap it out okay bottom margin and so got so forth so this is how you can change it out and it will reflect on the runtime itself isn't it good you can also resize and play around it okay so you can have you have this option over here right so i can resize it out to this particular level also you can resize any component right so if i resize it like this i can put this one um over here and you can also add the white space also okay i will put it over here i will put this over here something funny okay and it works also you can customize the data also okay so for an instance if you go over here and this is what is showing my task right so if i go over here and if i see the configurations over here right so it's a single score one right so you have this many visualization type okay so single score then dial gauge area column line scatter so many things okay semi donut for this particular thing actually it makes sense with the common um common data only if i go for the assign an asset type because the count is let's reduce some count okay so for instance if we go to the data set it's on the task table okay and if you want to see how exactly it's working okay so if i click on this so not data source if i click on this so it will route me to the task table and it will show you that this is the current data which is showing and there's a filter which is put which has been put in on the particular gauge okay or widget so you can customize this out also so if i go on edit i want to just see the planning task okay so i can um do add what is priority is planning and that's that simple means you you don't have to write any kind of code for this this is not even low code this is no code kind of thing so as you can see as soon as i, I updated the filter it got reflected over here and we can see the dynamic data you have tons of other configurations also over here like head show header show header separator okay you can change this out also so unassigned task you can give uh task no one is working i think that's the definition of unassigned task right so it gets reflected you can also give the description so that what when you hover on it this will come up wrap and all those things i've already shown you okay then metric forget about that for for this particular thing out you can also show for uh, real time this is very important so if you check this out this so it will update real time whenever any activity happens by any user this will get reflected okay you can have presentations or uh, in presentations you have options to change the color so for example if i go to the display setting the score size is medium for now you can make it very small extra small or extra large also okay extra large is not being 
let's make it large you can have icon style also so if you go to the icon style without background and you can select the icons also so for example if i select the activity field so it will show over here you can also change the color change the color of the um attribute okay so for example if you go here the default color i will go to single color and i will change this out to this oh this is black one let's change it to this so this way you can play around it you can also define the rules okay and for example if if the count is over 70 okay if the value is over is is 190 plus and so on okay then what color it should have what icon it should have and so on so it's completely dynamic isn't it amazing right you have an option to add tab also you must have seen that um workspace have different different tabs like for example a tab for playbook so you can create a ta separate tab also okay and you can add elements to that tab the way we used to create dashboard using reports right in the similar way you can create a workspace using this elements okay so for example if you go here add elements you can do data visualization filter heading image list and so on okay so data visualization is just reports okay filter is you can add filter on top of some data headings is headings image you can add image list is the one which we were showing the last and you can also add some HTML format. So for example, if I add heading, okay, and let's drag it to make it better. Let's keep it as is, okay. Apart from that, let's add one data visualization. And in this data visualization, currently you can see, are you able to see? Yeah. You can see there's no content because why? Because we have not defined any data source. So let's add some data source. So if you go to add data source, it will ask which particular table. So I would just want to have a parking. Okay. Parking table. So I have this many parkings. Okay. These are the different types of parking. You can add this as source and it shows have five, but I'm not interested in the count of parking source, parking types, right? I want to see what all there. So you can go and what are the best suit for this? Let's go for donut okay and it will show one only why because we have not added group by kind of thing right so you can simply go and do group by what group by parking name apply and boom it will, it will show you this entire report out the, there's no name for this report so you can give the name also so you can give a header, okay. And you can give pass time report. Anything like that, okay. And you can see it over here. Isn't it perfect, right? So this is how you can create a workspace without doing any kind of code, okay. You can you can simply save this out and exit the editing mode okay so it will show you what exactly uh it looks like so it's tab will be the this one which we have just screwed up and the untitled one you can also change the name for this okay there's a configuration for untitled one the one we have created there's tons of opportunities which you can play around and create your own workspace okay it's i've just shown you the way how you can do it out and now there are tons of possibility based on your use case, how exactly you want to develop this workspace out. Okay. If you also have an option to share, bookmark this uh, dashboard, okay. Create a new dashboard or you can simply delete it out also. Okay. So if you want to share, you can simply click on this and it will ask whom you want to grant the access for. Okay. So there's a group user roles you can make it happen to those people out or you can simply copy the link also so this is all for today's tutorial in today's tutorial we have seen how we can create a workspace okay at very more well, initial level i have shown you okay and you can 
please keep uh, please explore this particular feature out because UIB is really a nice thing to try okay because if you want to do the same at the portal level with scriptings it will take tremendous amount of time but this you can do with just click of some buttons using workspace builder i hope you like this video okay if you liked it out please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you will get notified whenever i am creating new videos till then stay safe stay happy and have a nice day thank you